Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at integer division models. We're going to look at the chip or concrete manipulative model and a number line model. So here we go. The chip model connects nicely to the chip model for integer multiplication. There are going to be a lot of similarities. It also emphasizes the fact that opposite integers add to zero, and it allows for hands-on manipulation of items and moving them into groups. Once again, if you're using these little manipulative chips, we have our one positive and our one negative. An important thing to know is that if we combine one positive with one negative, they combine to be zero. So let's see how we model negative four divided by two. Well here, we're going to take four negative chips and we're going to divide or ask the question, how many are in each group if we break negative four into two equal sized groups? Well, there are negative two or two red chips in each of our two groups. So negative four divided by two is negative two. What if we divide a negative by a negative? For example, negative six divided by negative two. Here we're going to ask how many groups of negative two are in negative six? Well, we start with six negative or red chips and we start grouping groups of two of them. So here's one, two, three groups of negative two in negative six. So negative six divided by negative two is three. Next, let's take a look at the number line model and how we can use it for integer division. So this model reinforces the idea of opposites by having students move in left and right directions. It bridges nicely to whole number division if you taught that using the number line method. And it connects well to the idea of division being repeated subtraction. So here's how integer division works. You're going to start at zero, just like with all the other models, or the, all the other operations and the number line model, positive numbers represent forward steps and negative numbers represent backward steps. If we take six divided by negative two, we're gonna start at zero. We're gonna note that we need to make it to positive six. So whatever number you're dividing by, that's your destination. Next, you're going to think about, well, what kind of steps do I need to take? Because I have negative two, I need to take backward steps. So the only way to get to six by taking backward steps is to flip around. Now, if I take steps of size two that are backward, I'm going to count up how many steps did I take? And I'm going to note what direction my little creature is facing in the end. Here, I took three steps and my creature, in this case, my little running man, is facing the negative direction. So my answer is negative three. Let's try taking negative five and dividing by negative one. We're going to start at zero. We're gonna note that we need to get to negative five. Because we're dividing by negative one, we need to take backward steps. So taking backward steps of size one until I get to negative five, I count up that I needed one, two, three, four, five steps. And in the end, my creature, in this case, my running man, is facing the right or the positive direction. So negative five divided by negative one is five. All right, one final look. Negative four divided by negative two. Let's get our little creature going at zero. We are noting that we need to make it to negative four. And because we're dividing by two, we need to be taking positive steps. The only way to take forward or positive steps is to turn around. And then we're gonna take steps of size two. So here we go, one, two. So noting it took us two steps and our little guy is facing the negative direction. 
So our answer is negative two. All right, guys, well, that does it for this video on integer division models. Until next time, we'll see you in a future video.